I'm John Kutch, Executive Director of the Thorium Energy Alliance. Thank you for taking the time to learn about thorium and rare earth, reactor designs, legislation, and other areas related to creating a clean, safe, sustainable thorium energy future. I'd like to invite you to my hometown of Chicago for the fourth annual Future of Energy Conference presented by the Thorium Energy Alliance. Conference sponsorships are available. We've been actively working for new legislation and that's required going to Congress and state legislatures around the country. So we don't just organize conferences, we, we actually are doing the work that needs to be done to start a thorium energy future. Ed Key from NERA Economic Consulting gave a talk what the chances are for different parts of the world to come up with the new nuclear technology, Gen 4, small modular reactor, preferably molten salt reactor. China has about a 90% chance of being a producer of a Gen 4 technology. And I said, oh, come on, you know, we, we do this stuff all day long. And he said, John, I'm, a, I'm an actuarial accounting and economic forecasting, and I pride myself on not using rosy forecasts. As of October 2010, the United States, in my book, has a 0% chance of creating the next generation of nuclear technology. Well, now we have a few guys poking at the edges of trying to start a, a new economic uh, concern here. Uh, so maybe the facts on the ground are starting to change. But what I'm saying to you right now, and I can't make clear enough on behalf of Mr. Key, is that China has committed and put money towards this, and they have that 90-plus percent chance of being the Gen 4 producer for the world. And they've said, as many of you have seen in their press release, they fully intend to lock down the intellectual property for this so that we could get locked out of the thing that the United States invented and Japan with the Fuji and Europe with the work that they've done could get locked out of the very technology that they helped create. So I don't think we should let that happen and this conference is part of uh, subverting that, uh, that future. You can't have the world move on without you with what, for all practical and measurable purposes, is a safer form of energy. Why are we sustaining an energy system that was the byproduct of the Cold War? It's time to move on, especially when the rest of the world is ready to move on without us. Here's our transuranics. These figures show 10 to the minus 7, 10 to the minus 4, 10 to the minus 7, 10 to the minus 9 grams. This is teeny, teeny production. A thousandth of a gram of these dreaded materials 10 years of operation, this is good. Waste profile, much healthier. If we can provide an energy source cheaper than from coal, all the nations in their own economic self-interest will choose it over coal. A thousand kilograms of uranium-233 would be worth uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of electrical sales. Along the way, we'll make 20 kilograms of medical molybdenum-99, thorium-229 for targeted alpha therapy treatments, 20 kilograms of radiostronium that can be used in remote heating units, and 150 kilograms of stable xenon, 125 kilograms of stable neodymium. Out of this uh, marvelous machine comes a variety of different revenue streams each of which has got a community that is literally begging for them. We can be competitive with China on making patents on things that weren't thought of in the 50s and 60s. But if we wait, Americans, Canadians, Brazilians will be buying lifter and molten salt technology from China and paying them the royalties. And that's why we spend so much time and energy doing this and promoting the future. And, you know, I will say frantically trying to get uh, government and regulators on board. Thorium Energy Alliance is a 501c3 corporation in the United States of America. We're a nonprofit. We're tax deductible. There's no overhead at the Thorium Energy Alliance. 100% of the money that comes in goes towards supporting the programs and the researchers and the new educational materials we're developing. We've been very successful in many ways, but we have a lot of work to do. I hope you're inspired to take that step and join us at the conference, there is a real possibility to change how things work here. We can prevent pollution. We can use a virtuous cycle of byproduct from rare earths to make heat, to make the things we need for the society we want to live in. And of course, you can make vast amounts of electricity. That's why it's worth doing. Please contact us at the Thorium Energy Alliance if you have any questions. Hope to see you in May.